I bought a Thule uh, 9027 XT Apex XT Swing bike rack because my wife and I have a truck and we have bought a truck tent and we want to be able to swing the bike rack away from the truck and um, put the tent up, put the tailgate down, put the tent up, sleep back there without having to unload all the bicycles every time we want to do something. And I thought I'd just film a little unboxing here video. That's pretty cool. These little bars are what, when you crank this knob here, those expand out and create a claw to uh, seal it onto your hitch so that it doesn't move around. So I haven't noticed those. Those are pretty cool. There's one on top and one on the side, and then there's no others. That just kind of wedges its way in there. So this guy tells you when you're in far enough, and then these two guys wedge up in there and make it so it's good and tight. That's way better than a different than another rack that I had previously. So do that. Slide this guy in until it reaches. here. And a bolt, a nut, and that probably is all it takes to put this piece on that piece. I'm guessing it goes right down through there. says it's not okay for a tandem, but I'm definitely gonna use it for a tandem. Okay, so it really is that easy. I mean, I literally put this thing on here without even looking at the instructions. I put this bolt on and I basically just looked at the instructions to make sure that it thought that I was doing it right. And so then it basically just says, tighten up that bolt. And uh, so there we go with this guy right here. things that I found then doing this that uh, that were a little bit tricky um, I had trouble with this with this whole um, connection back here I feel like this is a little bit bent um, in the way that this uh, screws into here because I really feel like it should just go back and lock into place kind of smack into place but it doesn't but if I tip that if I take this guy here and tip it up just a little bit, then it does. So that's really all it requires is just a little bit of that. So it's working pretty good now that I've figured it out. Um, so then you crank this thing shut and lock that thing on. And then that's very sturdy. So there are two keys that come with this that are connected together. And then there's they're in the same bag with two locks. But there's also another key that comes with it that doesn't look at all like the other two. And this odd key is the thing that allows you to push this lock into place. I can take this right here and shove this key right in. Well, that will stay in. Now, it looks like that did it. So it's now in there. So that's the same as the key down here in the bottom. You know, you can make do, turn the key so that it spins and then do this and turn the key so that it um, expands those flanges in here to make it so that this thing does not move at all. So, and then so that it can't be stolen, you just do that and then it just flips around in circles and doesn't uh, allow for anybody to take your hitch away. You know, it's tipped up high at the 
end and low here, I guess that's so your bike can't, you know, fall off that direction. So then you've got these straps and uh, these go in this clamp on the high end. So they're gonna, they're gonna go through here like this and wrap around and come through that. So that goes through here. There's a little track too to guide it. And then that right there can go through here and you have to push down on the, on that in order to get it to feed through. But then you can see how that goes. And then, let's see if we can get this to actually, there we go, it even snaps into place there. So that right there is now part of the bike rack. Push that in to loosen it up. Open it all the way up like that. Oh, it's got this, this, uh, this little uh, stabilizer that pops out there. So this is where the, the bar that you want to be um, stabilized goes. Take this and unscrew this thing down here. And uh, then unhook that thing there. And then that snaps into place right there so that it won't come backwards. And then that turns the bike so they're out away from the truck. And then I can take my truck and put that down. That has lots of clearance, probably about four inches of clearance. So that's gonna be awesome for our little camping trips in the back of the truck. Um, lift this guy up, turn that out, bend that guy up, pop it over. No problem now that I've got the secrets of the fire swamp figured out. All right, so now I've got my, my tandem out here. I do not recommend loading a tandem on it, but that's our thing, and this is my bike rack, so I guess I'll have to make that choice. It's not going anywhere. It's well balanced on here. We take the wheels off. Pull this out like that. There we go.